welcome back. I do apologize for not uploading any cooking videos in some time. I'm actually getting caught up on my talking heads. So you're gonna start seeing a video or two a week for the next probably four or five weeks to try to get caught up. Um, so anyhow, if you are new to my channel, welcome back. My name is Betsy. I love to cook and to um, entertain people. I bake some. I don't enjoy baking as much as I used to. Um, I got sick a couple years ago and ever since then baking has not been something I've thoroughly enjoyed, but I do love to cook and definitely love to entertain. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get started. I do appreciate you watching. All right, this is a very easy recipe. So I'm going to take a large mixing bowl and I'm going to melt a stick and a half of butter, which is three quarters of a cup in the microwave. And then I'm going to add two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. And to that, I'm going to add four eggs. I'm going to add one cup of sour cream or you can use cottage cheese. I didn't have cottage cheese, so I did use sour cream. And about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm just gonna whisk that until it's well combined. To that, I'm going to add about a half of a cup of onions that are chopped. I'm using frozen onions, I thawed, but you can use fresh. I'm also adding one 12 ounce bag of chopped broccoli that I steamed. And then I'm also gonna add a cup and a half of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and I'm just gonna mix that until it's well combined and I'm going to spread this in a 9 by 13 pan that I've sprayed with nonstick spray I'm just gonna make sure that's spread out evenly. I'm gonna bake this uncovered at 375 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's golden brown. And I like to serve mine with soup. And I will link down below the recipe for this vegetable chowder. All right, thank you guys for watching. I love cornbread. I think I've probably talked about that before. I have a, some cornbread recipes I will link down below, but I really like this recipe. The first time I had it was, oh gosh, I know it's probably at least, oh, probably more than 10 years ago. I had it at Bunko. Now, I used to be in two Bunko groups, a regular Bunko and Drunko Bunko. I'm still in Drunko Bunko, and the reason I call it Drunko Bunko is to distinguish between the two. Drunko Bunko we like to have a glass of wine or a beer with our meal that night. And so I just call it Drunko Bunko. But anyhow, I had a regular Bunko. Man, it was good. She had made it with soup. So whenever I make this, I generally make it with some sort of soup. When I made it this time, I served it with my cheesy vegetable chowder, which I will link down below. By the way, that soup freezes beautifully. I froze it and I got one more bag left. I'll probably eat it in the next few weeks. Man, it's oh, so good, but I love this cornbread. It's it's different, it's um, soft and it's creamy and the cottage cheese really gives it a creamy texture. You can't taste cottage cheese and you can't, the cottage cheese doesn't have that cottage cheese texture if, if you don't like cottage cheese or you don't like the texture. It just gives it a really moist and uh, good flavor. And of course, broccoli and cheese. I love broccoli and cheese. When I was a little girl, my grandma would make broccoli, cauliflower, and cheese. And she would make that broccoli, cheese, and cauliflower until it was smushy. So I know some people think that's gross, but that's why I like my broccoli and cheese. I like it cooked till it's mush, because that's why I ate it as a kid. Now, I'll eat it crisp if it's like in a stir fry or something like that, but to eat just broccoli and cheese or broccoli and um, cauliflower and cheese, I like it smushy. I know, I'm strange. It's kind of funny when you think back how your um, tastes are based on what you ate as a child, you know. There's things that I ate as a kid that I wouldn't even dream of eating now, but that is definitely one of the things I love. And there's things now that I eat that you couldn't get me to touch with a 10-foot pole. I wouldn't eat onions as a kid. 
I don't care for them raw unless they're red onions, but I love them cooked and things. And also, I wouldn't eat bread when I was a kid. You couldn't get me to touch bread. I like bread now. I'm, I'm not a big, big bread eater, but I've been introduced to, um, it's called Arnold Bread is the brand. I like their sourdough and their potato bread. And Jeremy introduced that to me and that is some good bread. I do eat eggs just about every morning, so I eat toast with it a lot, but I'm getting off topic. Um, but anyhow, I just love this um, broccoli and cheese um, cornbread and it makes a good size pan. It makes like a nine by 13 pan and it's really fairly inexpensive. Um, you know, you've got your cheese, which is, you know, I buy my cheese when it's on sale and I stock up cause I use a lot of cheese. Cornbread mix, the Jiffy mix is like sometimes three, four dollar, two, four dollar, an egg, your cottage cheese and broccoli. So it's really an inexpensive thing to make for a lot. And the other good thing about it, it also freezes really well. I ate on it for a couple of days and then I froze it and I just cut it into portions and froze it. And then when I wanted a piece, I just take it out of the Ziploc bag and let it thaw and I'd have it with whatever I was gonna eat. But anyhow. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. All right, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. When you interact with the video, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. It helps me in the um, algorithms of YouTube to get me out there a little bit more. My channel is definitely growing, so I'm very thankful for that. It's still a very small channel. It will likely always be a small channel, and I'm good with that. I do this for the love of doing it for no other reason. And be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. I will be getting on a regular schedule this fall, so probably for the next month or two it'll be sporadic but I will be definitely uploading and don't forget not every day is good but there is always something good in every day and I'll see you next time.